Hi boys and girls, welcome to a recorder time lesson. And so if you've been following along in this book, the, the pages have been posted uh, on uh, Google Classroom. And this week we are working on pages 15, 16, and 17. And I wanted to go over some of those concepts with you because they're new to us. And uh, so I'm going to be starting on page 15. So uh, before you come to this lesson, or if you need to pause the video, please make a copy of page 15, 16, and 17, because you're going to need access to that. And have your recorder there. You can uh, stop and play along with me. If our recorders sound really different, um, that's OK. Um, I need to get one of the classroom ones. I Mine was uh, misplaced or given to somebody else, so I, I'm using my wood recorder and it may be pitched in a different key. But basically for teaching the concepts, I want to start with oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. It's on page 15. What do we see in the time signature in this piece? We see that it's in 3-4 time. So would you potch with me? One. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Keep going. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. We don't do a lot of music in three, four time in our culture. And so sometimes it's hard to feel that pattern. Let's do it one more time. This time, ask yourself of the three beach, which one is the strong beat? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Do you feel it? Which beat do you think it is? If you said number one, you are right. One is the strong beat in our music. I'm going to give ourselves a pitch so we can start here. So if I mark the, the strong beats, ta, or uh, let me try that again, two, ta, two, ta, two, ta, two. This, this nickname for this dotted half note is two, oo, oo. Okay, it gets three beats, a dotted half note gets three beats. Basically, in music, a dot increases the value by half of its original value. Now, that may seem a little confusing. Let's go over that real quickly. Stay. Okay, it stayed. If I have a half note, how many beats of sound does it get? Two. One sound called for two beats. If I add a dot to that note, what is half of two? One. Two plus one equals three. That's how dot and half note gets three beats. Let's take another one. This one is not very common, but it's kind of fun. How many sounds does a whole note get? One sound held for whole note, hold it, held for four beats, it gets four. Now, if I add a dot to it, what's half of four? How's your math? Half of four is two. Four plus two equals six. Dotted half note, dotted whole note would get six beats. We're not going to have a dot and whole note in 3-4 time because we can't have six beats in a measure. We're not going to have a dot and whole note in 4-4 in four, four time because it gets um, six beats and we can only have four in a measure. So uh, one that we will see often in future music to come is that of a dotted quarter.
quarter note or ta. Ta gets how many beats? One sound on one beat. What is half of one? If I have one apple and I cut it into halves and give you, you have half of an apple. Half of the beat is one half, is a half. Put the two together is dotted quarter note gets one and a half beats. Okay? One and a half beats. All right, let's take this back down. So, oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. I'd like to play it once for you, and I'd like you to keep watching. We're showing the strong beat here and the uh, weaker beats on your shoulder. Ready? Here I go. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow. Page 15. One, ready, play. able to potch with me? Okay, let's try it together. One more time. One, ready, go. Okay, that's oats, peas, beans, and you can practice that one. Let's have it in practice position and name our notes once before you play it again. One, ready, go. B, 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 A, G, 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 C, 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 B. A, 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 B, C, D, C, B, B, C, D, B, A, C, B, A, G, G, G. Did you find my mistake? I named the notes right, but I played them wrong. That last line, I said A, C. That isn't C, that's B. A, C. There we go. A, C. I'm going to go to the piano now, and I'm going to try to slow down just a little bit. And I want you to play along as I play the piano. I will give you an introduction of few measures and say, ready, play. It's okay that you can't see me, you just need to hear me. I'm going to start on the word how. Oats, peas, beans, and barley grow.
How did she do? That's going to take some more practice, but at least you understand how that 3-4 meter goes and what it sounds like. I'd like to go on to the song Playground. Um, I don't know this song very well. I just played it once a few minutes ago. But there's a reason why I want to go over Playground. Playground is found on page 17. Uh, you can go ahead and practice the songs on page 16. Both Lady Come and Blue Jeans are duets. So that's when you have a group or two people playing together. Uh, one of you would play the recorder one line and the other would play the recorder two line. So you can practice both of those, but play one line part at a time. Don't go recorder one, recorder two, recorder one, recorder two. Just play recorder one all the way to the double bar line and then recorder two all the way to the double bar line. Now I'm on Playground. Playground, what is our time signature? Our time signature is 4-4 four, four time. Four beats in a measure and a quarter note gets the count. Well, I've only put three measures of the song up here. Just for the example of learning, you have the music in front of you. This measure definitely has four beats. One, two, three, four. But look at the very last measure before the double bar line. It is a dotted half note. How many beats of sound does the dotted half note get? It receives three beats. One sound held for three beats. But we're in 4-4 four, four time. Where did that fourth beat go? This just doesn't mathematically work. Where did it go? Well, it can be found at the very beginning of our music. This is beat four right here. We call this a pickup beat or an anacrusis. Isn't that a fun word? Try it. Anacrusis. We have an incomplete measure here, and the pickup beats, the anacrusis, occurs right before the first complete measure. So if I'm playing this to my with myself or with you, I'm going to count one, two, three, and play on four. One, Ready, go, four. I'm going to play right on four. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. Again, I'm going to count it again. One, two, three, four, one. And you're going to play it right with my hands coming up on beat four. I would like to play Playground once for you because it is a German melody. And I ha hadn't heard it before. <clears throat> Let's read the gray box. So the gray box is always important. And, and it's the important information. If the first measure of a piece does not have the total number of beats shown by the top number of the meter signature, the time signature, and it does not begin on, on the first beat, it is called an incomplete measure. The beats needed to make the measure complete are found in the last measure of the piece. So we have one beat here and the last three beats there. But we're still going to count it. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> Join me in counting the beats. You count them out loud as I play. One, two, three.
pre-sonnet or the pre -ended. Let me count it again and this time see if you can start with me. One, two, three. can't play a conduct and whew, just can't do it all, but I hope you came in on the G with me. This time I'm going to just conduct and you play. Ready and I'll sing. One, two, three. It's time to go outside. So Goof, that last part. That's the trouble with the video. I can't cover it up. I'll try that one more time, okay? Okay, keep practicing that one. That one's kind of tough. You heard Miss Hitson make some mistakes on that one. Now let's look at when the Saints go marching in. This is going to be one of your favorites, but you have to count. Musicians must count. I don't think you can call yourself a musician if you don't learn to count, because if you're not counting, it's not very musical, and it does not sound good. And if you're careful, though, if you play it wrong so many times, it will feel right to you, but it won't be right to the listening ears of your audience. And we want them to always be pleased with what we do. So I have here, let me add some stems to our notes. These notes that I put down stems on, or you see them in your music as down stems, they're not upside down. That's just the line rule. If a note is on or above the middle line, it has a down stem. On or above the middle line has a down stem. So those below the middle line will have an up stem. Up stems go on the right of the note, down stems go on the left of the note. You probably haven't noticed that before, but that is the rule, and that's how it works. All right, what we have new in this song, let's read that gray box. A tie is a curved line which connects notes of the same pitch. You're not going to connect a D to a G or a D to an A. You're going to connect the same note to the same note. And on when the saints go marching in, Right here, we have the D connected to a D. They are played as one note and held for the total value of the connected notes. This is like an addition problem. How many beats does whole note get? He gets four. How many beats does quarter note get? He gets one. Four plus one equals what, third grade? It doesn't equal seven. Where have you been? No, it equals five. Four plus one equals five. I'm sure you all had it right. I'm just teasing you. So four plus one is five. We're going to hold this for five beats. But in my head, I'm not going to go one, two, three, four, five. I better count 
one, two, three, four, one. So I'm ready to play my new note on two. Here are the first three measures of O oh, When the Saints. Again, we have an incomplete measure. Look at the beginning. How many beats do we have? We have three. How many are we supposed to have? Four. We're supposed to have four. So we want to look to the last measure. These dots just mean there's a whole lot of song happening in between there. I didn't write them on the board. But if we look at the last measure, I only have one beat there. I only have a ta. So it's one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. So in my head, I'm going to count that. This time for you, I'm going to count it out loud. And I'm just going to play the first three measures. One, two, three, four, one. Did that sound right to your ear? Did it? Listen again. It's not right. But I played what was written in my music. Here's what I did, boys and girls. I copied it wrong. That measure should be G, B, C. Sorry, I can't find my eraser. That measure should be D, breath mark, G, B, C. Okay, so this note's below the line. Middle line, should it have an up stem or a down stem? It should have an up stem. This note is on the middle line. Should it go up or down? It should go down on the left side. And the C, is it up or down? It's above the middle line, so it should go down on the left side. Okay, now let's see if this sounds better to your ear. One, two, three, four, one. Does it sound better? Yeah, I fixed our mistake. But notice how I held that. This is called the top. Now some of you in piano have seen something like this. Uh, let me add it to Let's just say we have this in our music. That is not a tie because we're not connecting two notes. We're grouping together a group of notes. We have a B here and we end with a G here. That's called a slur. That would mean that I would do this on one breath. If I were a singer, if I'm a recorder player, I'm going to play that on we're going to play that smoothly on the piano and then gently lift our hands after that note. Slurs and ties, they may look alike, but they are different. Okay, well this is your lesson for pages 15, 16, and 17. We'll play Oh When the Saints one time together and then I'll sign off and let you practice. One, two, three, four, one.
but when the saints go marching in. Wonderful uh, spiritual, talking about the day that when we all get to go to heaven to be with Jesus. What a day that will be. Okay, go to work. Get your practicing done. All right, bye-bye.